guys, what is up? Sims out 20 here, or lose me guys another NHL 17 hockey ultimate team pack opening video. That is right. I know it's two pack openings back to back, but with these cards out today, I have to. As you guys can see, the Austin Matthews milestone card is out. Not only is it the first Austin Matthews card on the Leafs, it is also going to upgrade whenever he gets gold, so it's worth pretty valuable because if he gets upgraded to say an 86 overall. This card's going to be an 88 overall, so uh, potential for growth in this card is pretty huge, and it's Austin Matthews, four goals in one game. It's pretty damn cool. Uh, Face-off collections, obviously, there. there's a play of the game. Kevin Shattenkirk out. Sadly, the Hawks did get uh, destroyed, and hey, Duncan Keith scored on our own goal. Anyway, the teams we got, and there's a play of the game, Carlson. I don't know why there's not a banner for that. But there is a new pack out. It is the Ultimate Collector's Pack for the Face-Off. It's 1,500 points. This is the most expensive pack we've seen, not coin-wise, but point-wise. And uh, we're only able to get three of these, so let's open up these three packs. Hopefully, we can get a special card. Hopefully, we can get Austin Matthews. Uh, if you guys want to see some gameplay with Austin Matthews, Milestone, let me know. I'm, I'm definitely down to try him out. Uh, there's our one collector. Ooh, our first team of the week in a pack, Brad Richardson. Uh, two for face off, Math Master, not the greatest. Brent Seabrook, not a bad pull. We get eight uh, rare cards, so we have a good chance of getting some decent pulls here. Uh, I'm happy with the team of the week and a Brent Seabrook, though. There's our uh, other collectible, Max Patch already. That's decent, 88 overall. And uh, there's our other collectible, not a bad pack. All right, we'll move on to pack number two here quickly, see if we can get... I want to get a player of the game. I'm guessing I'll probably end up getting Shattenkirk, if anything. I doubt that I'll pull that Carlson, but I would not mind either or. I think player of the game cards have probably one of the best designs this year out of the ones we've seen, and I would love to pull one, obviously. Uh, but so far, nothing too amazing in this one. Emerson Edom got claimed on waivers by the Ducks. Craig Smith, how you doing, buddy? Dan Hamm, he's awesome. Morgan Ryan, Kevin Hayes, and nothing. Wow, that was a baloney pack one thing i noticed as well you don't get any jerseys or anything with these packs so it kind of sucks uh it's gonna keep the gold prices or the gold collectibles up and carbon collectibles up which kind of sucks but oh well we get our collectible there brock nelson jason pominville come on give me a decent looking pull here joe ward Bobrovsky, 88 overall can't really complain with that oh my goodness that may have been all our rares i think it was god or no we get cam talbot woohoo come on nothing all right all right let's open up some 15k packs with point or with coins here and see if we can get anything decent we'll go down to 100k we'll open up 50k worth of packs see if we can get anything decent here i doubt we will but hey it's worth a shot mike green and silverberg in our first one at least we could say we pulled a special card granted it was a team of the week brad richardson but hey, it's better than nothing, I guess. Maybe we'll get one more special card in here. Come on. I mean, uh, Matthews is only 84 rated. He should be pretty easy to pull, but I guess Troy Browers is funk even on here. I'm hoping again, like I said, a player of the game would be sick. A Matthews would be sick as well. He's going for around, I want to say, 150k by now. Uh, he was 200k when I last checked. I'm yeah, implying that his price has to be going down with the packs out and everything. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I would not mind pulling Matthews. All right, we'll keep going here. I don't know how many packs this will end up getting us, but probably only, only like one more after this one, but let's see what we will be getting. Come on, Kevin Hayes, not what I was looking for. Ain't enough case to care. All right, so we get two more 15k packs. I know how to math. Open now. Come on, big money. No whammy. Come on, here we go. Here we go. Not going to cover my mouth because that isn't worth less. Time. Fucking Anders Lee. Mark Shifley, 87. Not the worst pull ever, but man, these packs have been rough. All right, so the last one here. Let's see what we will end up getting in our last pack of the day. Big money, no whammy. Come on, here we go. All right, Sweden, that means we got to get that Eric Carlson, correct? Marion Hosa, wouldn't mind you getting your 500 goals soon. And Paul Martin, God, we pulled a Carlson. I mean... All right, guys, so we ended up putting all the face-off collectibles into the rare player pack. Obviously, not 88-plus packs, but hey, I thought, why not try these out, see how they are, uh, because I'm not going to do any of the more of the legends, so this is really all I can really do with my face-off collectibles. So let's do get some rare players. Who knows? This could be any 85-plus player or rare card or, like, Team of the Week special item. Austin Matthews or a Matt Niskanen. All right, we're going to get a good amount of flops in this. We're going to get a lot of 85 overalls, but... I thought it was worth a shot and kind of extends the video. Makes more content, you know? And we're going to get a Patrick Marlowe, not the worst 86 overall we can get. Like I said, if we can get a special card, even if it's the worst team of the week that there is, there, there, blah, 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 that there is or Paul Martin, I guess. I don't know. I just want to try these out, see if these are worthwhile. But 
Uh, yeah, obviously not 88 plus packs. Probably a good thing they're not 88 plus packs so the market can recover. Adam Henrique. Wouldn't mind a Taylor Hall, your buddy, but all right, let's keep moving on here. Come on, skip the animation. Mikel Bodker, already have enough of you, buddy. Come on, four more already. <sighs> all right, come on. Let's do this. Skip animation. Ooh, team of the week, Marcus Gramlin. All right, I mean, what synergy? He has, uh, he has decent synergies, I guess, with Speedster. Uh, is it a decent looking card, at least? Uh, shot's pretty subpar. Skating's pretty eh. Team of the week, I'll take it. We'll take a team of the week. That's 5k right there. That's pretty much a face-off collectible. Not too upset with that. Skip again, Anthony Nemi, god damn it. Two more left. I said at the beginning of this, if we got a special card, I'd be happy. And we got a special card, so I can't really be too upset. Uh, but we can get a David Perron there. Let's open this last one for the Lord and Savior of the Toronto Maple Leafs, Austin Matthews. Come on. Big money, no lamey, last one. <laughs> That's okay, Jerome. I'll take it. Now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I, again, apologize for it not being a gameplay video. But again, my controller is broken. Can't really accelerate. Kind of hurts the game. But, however, if, I, if you guys get enough likes in this video, I'm not going to put a set amount. If you guys like the heck out of this video, uh, I'll get a, I'll get you guys a gameplay with this bad boy himself. Austin Matthews. That is right. I had to get him. Uh, 84 overall. His stats look pretty decent for an 80. 84 overall, and if you activate Wicked Rister and one timer efficiency, they go up pretty pretty decently. So, uh, if you guys want to see a gameplay with Austin Matthews, Austin Matthews, make sure to leave a like on this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, let me know, and I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye. Wait, I didn't even do my, my signature. Goodbye.